Uh, the one one final point, you know, I, I just, I'm, uh, you know, I don't know that I've, I've um, yeah, I just want to reflect back, and obviously we've got an important game to play, so I don't want this to be a distracting point at all. But, uh, you know, I just, I continue to take issue with, with the comments that um, I, have, I have a ton of respect for Mark and, and the Maryland uh, team and the Maryland program, but I just continue to take issue with the way he characterized uh, Caleb's play. Uh, I just think it's, I think it's inappropriate. Um, I've never seen this much conversation after a loss. Um, and I understand there's probably some, um, uh, some maneuvering in terms of the next game that they play, but no one is scrutinized in terms of officiating more than Caleb Wesson, and he's had to adjust. He has had to adjust. You guys in here know that he has had to adjust the last couple years. And when we played in College Park, they flopped a couple times, and it was called, and we shot a technical uh, free throw on it, and we showed that that could be the case again. Uh, he has got his fair share of, of calls against him. Um, he's adjusted, but no one is scrutinized, uh, or at least more. He's scrutinized as much as anybody in this league when it comes to officiating, and he's had to adjust, and he's going to have to continue to adjust. And I thought that, you know, those comments afterwards were just – um, you know, we're, we're quite honestly a little bit a little bit out of place. Again, tremendous respect for Mark. I think he's a fantastic coach. I think the job that uh, he's done this year is, is tremendous. Um, and they've got a they've got a team that, that is going to be is you know well positioned uh, for a great run. They've had a great season, but uh, you know, it's, and we're we're certainly moving on. But it was hard to let that one rest. Is this in relation to his solely his post game comments or things he did make some other reference to it? I saw a fresh comment. Yeah, Something I just else think he said since he got back to College Park. Yeah, I just think I think I think the continued dialogue, um, you know, is you know why I'm addressing it. But was anything brought to your attention as far as an altercation between one of their players and the fans? One of their players? Yeah, one of their players and the fans. No, no, okay. not, nothing. I wasn't sure if there was something that came up as well. No, no, no nothing. I, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, nothing, nothing okay. along those lines happened. Um, if it did, it was. I, I, don't, I don't think anything like that happened. Was there anything raised to you or him during the game by officials about contact between him and Jalen Smith during the game? No. You know, sometimes they come over and they yeah, talk to you right. About. No, no. I thought, as a matter of fact, I thought that was certainly not the most physical game. We've been we've been involved in, and I just think in general, my point is is the fact that Caleb has been, understandably so. Caleb's Caleb's a difficult guy to officiate because of how big he is, but he has had to adjust in the hours of film that we've watched so that he would continue to grow and adjust. The kid deserves some credit for for being in less foul trouble than what he than what he is this year. And there's. You know, there's a fine line because we're we're always wanting him to be physical, but at times physical play can result in the offensive foul. So it's huge that his technique is good. His technique's been outstanding. His technique was very good in that game. Um, so uh, you know, it's something he'll continue to grow and improve in. But I just think, you know, I thought the whole characterization of his play was uh, was wrong and, and out of place.